Greek mythology begins at the beginning of time. The Greek gods of the time were the primordial gods. Hesiod's major work, Theogony, meaning birth of the gods in Greek, gives a thorough cosmogony. Natural forces are personified, and the most fundamental elements of the universe are gods. Chaos existed in the beginning, according to Hesiod. Chaos was the personification of ultimate emptiness, an engulfing black void from which all existence arose. Eros, the deity of love and procreation, emerged from chaos. As we can see, the ancient Greeks regarded love to be one of the most fundamental forces in the universe. Tartarus, the primordial god of the underworld, was born, a gloomy abode resembling the underworld. Zeus was honored as the creator of both gods and mankind. He governed heavenly occurrences and established laws that govern humanity. He grasped the lightning bolt in one hand and the scepter with the other, an eagle on top. The Lord of Justice was his title. People feared and admired him at the same time. He was looking after the families, keeping guard in every mortal's home, and protecting strangers and passers-by from evil. Zeus's wife, the goddess Hera, he was not always faithful to her. Zeus, who liked to turn himself into anything he could conceive of and mingle with other goddesses or mortals, is the subject of numerous love stories in Greek mythology. Demeter was a Greek goddess of agriculture who guarded trees, plants, and grains. She was the first to cultivate the ground and teach mankind how to grow wheat, barley, and other crops. Demeter is primarily isolated from the twelve gods in ancient stories because she is an even older goddess herself. Her cult was passed down to the Greeks from the Pelasgians, who originated in Greece. According to Greek mythology, Demeter's daughter is Persephone, who was once taken away by the god Hades and married him. Poseidon was one of Cronus and Rhea's six children and Zeus's brother. He was given the sea realm, but he was also honored as the deity of horses and earthquakes. This is why he was known as the Earth Shaker. He preferred the depths of the ocean rather than the heights of Olympus. He sat on a famous chariot pulled by immortal horses, clutching the legendary trident crafted by the Cyclops. Poseidon got furious and threw the trident into the sea, shaking it from end to end. The sailors begged Poseidon to spare them from his fury. Hades was the god of the underworld and the brother of Zeus and Poseidon. He was given this realm after the three brothers drew lots to see who would get each of the three kingdoms, heavens, sea, and underworld. He preferred the shadowy domain of the dead and was rarely seen on Olympus. Despite being one of the most significant gods, he is not included in some lists of the 12 Olympians. The gateway to the underworld is guarded by the three-headed Cerberus, Hades' favorite pet. You must pay the ferryman in order for your spirit to cross the quiet river. Goddess Hera was Zeus's sister, the daughter of the Titans Cronus and Rhea, and at the same time Zeus's wife. Hera represented and guarded the sacred institution of marriage. She blessed and assisted the women who were in labor. Hera is portrayed in Greek mythology as a humble, measured, and faithful woman who is also exceedingly jealous. There are hardly no myths that are solely about Hera. Her name is nearly always associated with Zeus tales. Hera, on the other hand, does not position herself as a goddess who is subordinate to her sovereign husband. She had a strong female personality and was the only one who dared to disagree with him. Apollo and Artemis were twins, the children of Zeus and Leto, a titan goddess. The two youngsters were said to have been born on the Greek island of Delos. One of the most prominent and intricate Greek gods is Apollo. He is the god of light, music, and poetry, as well as healing and prophecy. He founded the renowned Oracle of Delphi, which was considered the center of the ancient world. He was the muses' teacher, and when they sang, he accompanied them on his famous lyre. Artemis, Apollo's twin sister, was the goddess of hunting, wild animals, and the natural world. She spent her time in the woods, hunting with her bow and arrows, surrounded by the nymphs. She was a virgin deity who guarded young girls. She was also revered as a main goddess of childbirth and midwifery, protecting women in labor from sickness. She was sometimes identified with the moon goddess. Aphrodite, the most beautiful of mortals and immortals, was created from the foam of the sea following Uranus's defeat by Cronus. As a result, she is the oldest of the Olympian gods. Her name literally translates to raised from the foam. Aphrodite was revered as the goddess of love and beauty. She had the ability to instill love in the hearts of both men and women. According to Greek mythology, she married Hephaestus, the god of fire and blacksmiths. But she was in love with Ares, the god of battle, with whom she had many children, including the winged god of love, Eros.
Ares, the Greek god of war, was the son of Zeus and Hera. Demos and Phobos, two of his devoted sons and servants, were always by his side. Ares was attractive and powerful, young and well-armed. People despised him because he enjoyed war and conflicts, and his worship was restricted. Only at Sparta was he particularly revered with a statue dedicated to him. According to legend, Ares was prosecuted for his many war crimes atop one of Athens' hills, the Areopagus Hill, which later became the seat of the ancient Athens' criminal court. Hephaestus was the fire and blacksmith god. He was born ugly, which is why his mother, the goddess Hera, threw him off of Olympus since she was unable to nourish him. He's been limping ever since. Hephaestus fell into the sea, where he was rescued and nurtured by the Nereids. As he grew older, he became a well-known craftsman and established his workshop on Mount Etna in Sicily. He created works of art of unparalleled beauty with his varied metals. He once built a golden throne for his mother Hera. As soon as Hera sat down, invisible chains shackled her, and no one could free them. They attempted to persuade Hephaestus, but only after first getting him drunk. In Greek, the volcanoes were named after Hephaestus, a god of fire. The titan Prometheus took the fire from him and gave it to the mankind. Hephaestus was also assigned to the creation of Olympus's brass and gold palaces. Hermes was the Greek god of money, trade, thieves, and travelers. He was also known as the messenger god because he served as the Olympian's herald, transporting communications between them. He was the son of Zeus and Maia, Titan Atlas's daughter. Hermes saw a turtle as soon as he was born. He took her shell, strung seven strings through it, and created the lyre. He once kidnapped the oxen guarded by the deity Apollo and imprisoned them in a cave. He refused to admit the theft, but he eventually confessed. He gave the lyre to Apollo to avoid punishment. Hermes wore winged sandals and clutched the caduceus, his wand, which was wrapped in two serpents. He was regarded as the soul bearer because he was the one who carried the souls of the dead to Hades. Athena was the goddess of knowledge and strategic battle in Greek mythology. Zeus beloved his daughter Athena. Her mother was Metis, Zeus's first wife. Zeus was told by a prophecy that Metis would bear the child who would overthrow his father. Zeus swallowed Metis while she was pregnant in Athena in order to avoid the prophecy. Later Zeus began to suffer from headaches and requested assistance from Hephaestus. Hephaestus struck Zeus on the skull with his hammer and Athena appeared in full armor. She is always depicted with arms, never as a kid, and always as a virgin. She defeated Poseidon in the fight for Athens' patronage. Despite being a semi-god, Dionysus won the hearts of the gods and his spot on Mount Olympus. As a god of wine, viticulture, ritual lunacy, and religious ecstasy, he was widely revered and regarded as a powerful deity. He was the son of Zeus and Semele, a mortal. He was the theater's patron god and taught mankind how to manufacture wine. To honor Dionysus, the Athenians threw a great party, typical of his revelry. During such holidays, any use of force was prohibited. Hestia was the goddess of domestic life of home and hearth, of the fire that kept a family warm. She was the eldest daughter of Cronus and Rhea, as well as Zeus's eldest sister. There was an altar in her honor in the heart of the ancient Greeks' home. The women of the house were responsible for keeping Hestia's spark alive. Worship of Hestia was linked to worship of Zeus, who safeguarded strangers' travelers. Goddess Hestia was the first to invent house building, teach it to others, and become the defender of family harmony and happiness. She was always on Mount Olympus, tending to the sacred flame.